So in the last part, you had your man with a golf stick, and he gave a ball a good smack, and it went up in the air like that. Okay, in this question they're saying, hey, if that's 15 degrees, how high does it go? Now when you see 15 degrees and you're in the mechanics question, you're thinking straight away, ah, this is one of these um, components of vectors question, and you're absolutely right. So what you do here is you finish off the triangle. You've got how much of that uh, speed is going up the vertical component, and you've got how much of that speed is going across the horizontal component. The way I remember this, I think C for car, cars go right and left, so this is my cost. So it's whatever this was times the cost of the angle. Let me see what this was. Oh yeah, hang on. I'll just copy paste from the last question it was. Here we go, 63.6 meters per second, gone up in the air like that. So the bottom one here, therefore, has to be, ah oh, no, wait, they're asking me how high. Sure, I can just skip this this cost one, but that's how you would do it anyway. Yeah, um, I think I'll do it just for the laugh, because I have so much great things to do with my day. This would be 63.6 cos 15. That's how fast it's going across to hit a wall over there. How high is it about to go? Well, this is the one we really need to know all about. It's the sign one, S for skyscrapers, I think, tall, up, down. 63.6 times the sine of 15. And when you work that out, that will give you initial velocity with the vertical component. Okay, so I type 63.6 sine 15 into my calculator. And you end up with 16.46 meters per second going up. Okay, that's firing up there. So there's a few ways you can finish this off. Either you can pick one of the linear equations formulae, that's like that v squared equals u squared plus 2as, uh, or you can try doing this with um, conservation of energy. You can say a half mv squared equals mgh, that'll work as well. I'm just gonna do the linear equation ones because they tend to be quicker. They're, they're pretty good, like. Okay, let's do that. So I'm gonna use that one I just said. It's um, v squared equals u squared plus 2as. That's the raw formula. But I'm going to make this into a slightly different form so that it makes sense and matches up with this question. So let's just see what we're actually talking about here. So v squared is the final velocity of the ball as it stops up in the sky and then comes back down to hitting the base. So uh, that's of course going to be zero, isn't it? Because it stops in midair, so it's zero. Zero squared, so zero. U squared, uh, that is this one here. So it's, we just worked that out. That's the initial speed, the, the, the speed it was hit up with. So it's 16.46, we'll square that now in a sec, plus two AS. Well, A is the acceleration due to gravity, but watch out here, because it's actually negative. So that is gonna be um, minus nine, Minus 9.81, you know, because it acts downwards against the motion. Uh, if G was positive, then that ball would just get faster and faster and fall upwards, and that would be real spooky, and probably cheating in golf. S is the distance it's going to go up, and that is our target variable, so I'm going to put that in a funky purple. It would be great if we found S. That's a distance. Let's figure this out a little bit more. Let's just... um. Let's just clean all this stuff up. Okay, I'm going to square this guy and move it over. So this guy squared is 270.93. We'll add that to two times this. I'll just put it in brackets. It's minus 19.62. And that multiplied by our S. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to tidy things up a bit. Okay, so this 270, I'm going to bring across the other side of the equal sign. 
because uh, I want to get rid of some minuses here. So I'm going to get minus 270.93, and that will be equal to, on the other side, um, minus 19.62 times my s. Right, I'm going to multiply both sides by minus 1, and that way you'll get rid of those minuses, okay, and that will turn them both into pluses. Uh, just to keep things tidy, I'll just rub it out here, bop, and that gone as well. Now, I'm going to get s by itself, so I'm going to divide 270.93 by this 19.62, so I just divide that by that. I'll just draw another line here, and that will give me S, and you should find that, that will work out at a at about uh, I think it's S is 13.82 meters in the sky. So the marks here are going for um, this vertical velocity that will get you three. If you get um, this formula here, if you remember that, that will get you three marks and the answer is three. You'll also get three marks, by the way, if you had that other one, the mgh uh, is equal to kinetic energy a half mv squared. So potential energy equals kinetic energy. That would also get you three instead of the v squared equals u squared plus two as. Okay, it's, it's either or in, in this case, you only get three. So it's just nine marks in total.